the periglacial landforms not too much to know now periglacial is a unique type of landscape in which the underground and the soil moisture is frozen whereas the surface is an active layer with cycles of melting and freezing the underground soil moisture is permafrost if this is the surface the surface is an active layer it can melt it can freeze these are part of the season cycles whereas the moisture which is under the ground in the soil this is permanently frozen page 492 dekho first paragraph the term periglacial literally means around the ice or the peripheral to the margins of glaciers okay this side was used now this term is used for both periglacial landscape and periglacial climate periglacial areas are those which are permanently frozen but without permanent ice cover on the ground surface so what is periglacial these are permanently frozen but without a permanent ice cover on the surface okay so their range of temperature it says the range of temperature is pretty large the annual range from minus 1 centigrade to minus 15 degree centigrade on an average and uh, these are areas mostly of the snowfall so remember this term what does the term periglacial mean this is towards the polar regions okay or the highest heights okay that we have this the periglacial conditions now the areas are related to the tundra regions across canada across norway across the polar edges of russia and so on so a short note on what are periglacial okay conditions and periglacial areas next what are the processes of periglacial remember three processes one is con jelly fraction second process is frost heaving and the third process is con jelly fluxion this is the soil or the mud flow so in the periglacial areas these are the three processes the important one called as con jelly fraction ye frost action hai uh, because of a uh, freeze and the thaw of this. frost heaving this is a kind of upward push related to frost action related to frost formation or freezing of ice in subsoil is a kind of upward push so what happens here is if this is the ground think of a large stone here and all around this there is frozen ice under this it's possible that in the subsurface areas this area can melt not the whole water okay the whole whole area has the water which is frozen but small small pockets can melt and they again freeze and expand when they expand they can push the rock up so slow gradual freezing and melting freezing and melting of the soil moisture can keep on applying a type of a hydrostatic push when it happens is repeated melting and freezing of subsoil moisture can create hydro static push okay so this gets pushed this gets pushed it comes out and the consequence of this is what happens is on the peri glacial landscapes stones seem to be vomited out okay the less like the ground here the stone seems to be pushed out comes out here there are stones and pebbles here they are pushed out they come out here the periglacial landscape stones and rocks seem to be vomited out and create patterns on the ground the landscape is also called as patterned ground so patterned ground where the surface looks like series of hexagons polygons there is there are patterns 
So in on the on your in your textbook, if you see this page number five zero one has a diagram of patterned ground. So what is periglacial conditions? What are the processes of periglacial conditions? And what are the landforms associated? What are the features associated with periglacial conditions? So processes may we have got congeny fraction or the frost action. Processes include the frost heaving, the stones and features are pushed out of the ground. Okay, these can create the pattern. This is natural. The third process is something like mud flow, something like soil flow. It's called as congeny fluxion, a type of a like a mud flow. So congeny fluxion can also transport, can also polish landscapes. This polishing can create a flat plain, okay, something like a penny plain called as cryo plain. This slow, gradual moving moisture, the sediments, they transport. They also can polish the landscape and they create a flat, featureless plain or near flat plain called as cryo plains. Congeny fluxion, page number four ninety five. There is one writer. And this type of motions is also referred to as the called man called as B R Y A N. Brian used the term cryoturbation. You may consider this to be synonymous with congeny fluxion. Okay, essentially this is one type of mass movement. So these are the processes. Now. Some of the landform that you must know. Okay, remember two or three of them. Not too much here. Know this landforms. एक तो है what are patterned ground. This is related to frost heaving. And then another landform called as pingos. Pingos are mounds. They are gentle elevations. So a typical pingo looks like this. Not a very large mountain. They are like mounds. They are of gentle elevations. Pingos are the consequence of some processes. What's agreed is they essentially layers of earth pushed upwards because of hydrostatic pressure of the subsoil moistures or underground water table. So what we mean by this is that if this is a kind of a layer, maybe this is say a frozen lake, then this is your earth, and there is as they freeze, they push, they apply hydrostatic pressure as the soil moisture. This is soil moisture, soil moisture. They apply push hydrostatic pressure, pressure, and this starts to rise. So we have this starts to rise like this. There is moisture here. There is moisture here, and this moisture is pushing from all sides, and this ultimately becomes a type of a small elevated mound. So these are called as pingos, and sometimes this can crack open and melt here. Okay, so this can also become a lake. It's called as Pingo lakes. So, if you want to look up something on this, you have this page five hundred. Pingos are formed because of the hydrostatic pressure. So, you don't have to remember the entire write-up. The cycle of erosion of Perry Glacier. Now, I'll suggest is to ask you to why this was asked year before last. Okay, so you cover what is savanna cycle, marine cycle, karst cycle. Okay, do this well. Of fluvial, you know, okay, and of course glacial cycle. You cover these four cycles. <laughs>